Once upon a time, two devoted sweethearts set out on a summer afternoon to enjoy the sunshine, the warm breeze, and the pleasure of each other's company. Mickey and Minnie were so happy that they were certain everyone must feel the same. But alas, joy is not found in all hearts. Where there should be love and kindness, there is jealousy and anger. The witch, Miserable, had such a heart. One filled with darkness and envy. Oh, dear. Aw, it's okay, Minnie. I bet the sun will be back in a jiffy. Mickey's wish was not to be. The day turned to night, and the skies thundered with ill will and fury. Yikes! In the brief moment that Mickey closed his eyes against the bright flash of lightning, his happiness was shattered. Minnie! The evil witch Miserable had kidnapped Minnie. The old crone had always been jealous of the mouse's beauty. Now, she would rob her of it. <laughs> oh, Mickey, you never appreciate what you have until it's gone. Isn't that right? No, no, and get her back! <laughs> As Miserable took to the skies with his beloved Minnie, Mickey knew he had to act fast. Oh, Mickey, save me! Running with all his might, he chased the witch through the forest. <laughs> Mickey scampered and scurried all the way to... the Castle of Illusion. Sega. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to a brand new Let's Play. And this time, we're headed into the Disney Universe with a remaster of a 1990 Sega Genesis game. We're talking Disney's Castle of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse. Again, I'm playing the 2013 version here, the 2013 remaster, which I'm not even sure is still available because the only reason why this was probably capable was because Sega had the Disney license at the time, which they no longer have. Uh, but to go into the options real quick, just to switch the tracks between modern and classic, uh, go keep the narration and the subtitles on for viewers out there. I'm figure since this is a remaster of the 2013, um, the music in this is beautifully, even the modern version of it. But I'm a classic dude, so I think we're gonna figure going classic uh, for the game. No, wrong, 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 wrong. Yeah, I figure I want to go to figure want to go through uh, classic, uh, listening to the classic tracks at least. We're going to go ahead and start a new game as well. Unfortunately, there's not multiple save files, but I do have a 100% video recorded for this. So, you know, no, nothing is lost in the grand scheme of things for this LP. Let's go ahead and get started with that new game. Yep, one over it. and terrifying, the castle stood out against the skyline like a shadow from a horrible nightmare. Lost and alone, what was Mickey to do? Luckily... Fate intervened in the guise of a mysterious old mouse. Caution, lad, for Miserable's plans are truly wicked. Using a magic spell, she intends to steal Minnie's youth and beauty. Your sweetheart will be left as hideous as the witch is now, and her heart will contain only hatred and anger. Oh no! Uh, how can I save her? What do I do? You must find the seven rainbow gems that will create the fabled Rainbow Bridge. It will take you to where Minnie is being held. But beware the gem keepers. 
They are Miserable's prime ministers of misery and won't give up their treasures easily. Gems? Gem keepers. Got it. Wait, where do I find them? Within Miserable's castle of illusion. But beware, young mouse. The witch has created strange worlds and bizarre creatures to prevent you from reaching her. Each gem is guarded by one of Miserable's masters of illusion. Defeat them to claim your prize. And remember, use great caution. Nikki did not take the old mouse's words lightly. He thanked him and rushed to the castle gates. The Castle of Illusion was Miserable's twisted playground of trickery and peril. Nothing there was as it seemed. And we are off on the adventure. That reminds me, I gotta make sure I put the introduction in this game in the beginning of the video, because I kind of just, uh, I thought I was gonna play during here. But whatever, I'll fix that afterwards. But here we are outside of the Castle of Illusion. Now we're heading inside the Castle of Illusion. You see the gems that I'm collecting here? Into the here? castle entryway strode the mouse with the heart of a great lion, though his knees felt more like those of a frightened kitten. And as you can see over here, Collect 15 diamonds to open. This is why you see that I'm collecting the diamonds here. If you don't have, you did in exactly 15 to get started here for you. And now the room has been unlocked. We are going inside. There are three rooms here. Act one, act two, boss, uh, boss uh, act. Hmm, I wonder what's behind this door. Mickey crossed the threshold and emerged once again into the forest. But it was changed somehow. This wasn't the pastoral wood he remembered. And we are here beginning in the game. You can jump on enemies. You can bounce off enemies when you uh, jump and hold the jump. Uh, when you press and hold the jump button, you can bounce off enemies. Uh, so, and in my case, it's the A button because I'm playing with the Steam Controller. And from here, you can see that we have a diamond counter, life counter, apple counter, or your item du jour when it comes to uh, the level itself. And the reason why you want to collect these diamonds is, you know, besides obtaining an achievement, if you collect all 100 by the end of the game, uh, you do need a certain number of diamonds to uh, unlock uh, levels after that. So it's like 80, I think it's like 80 for the next level, and then like 150 after that or something like that. Or some kind of number but it is not difficult at all if you're just playing through the game normally if you just go through it regularly like just just regularly playing it not going out of your way for anything like that you can easily achieve it easily easily achieve the diamond quota easily now i do have a hundred percent uh you know the hundred percent reward video recorded uh, but it doesn't necessarily mean I'll be getting everything on the stages here there's a good chance i might miss something and if that's the case you know I'm sorry, uh, but, you know, I do have the 100% file portion already taken care of and recorded beforehand, so uh, once we get towards the end of the game, I'll make sure to put it in where it's appropriate. And in this section, you just have to go through whatever at this point. Just go through whichever ones, or at least go through ones you haven't gone through yet. Sure wish that signpost would make up its mind. Gosh, which way should I go? I think I have this one left. But surely they can't all be the wrong path. Uh, which is the one that I missed? Really? There we go. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I knew I was missing something. Suddenly, Mickey was in another part of the wood. Were these gigantic trees, or had Mickey been shrunk? Yeah, this is a nice section here. Basically, you're just trying to get you're just trying to get through it. You can't fall through. You won't die or anything like that. Um, you, I think you end up just losing a health point because of it. 
but it's not. I don't think anything is like an insta kill in this game, at least. At least nothing that I've come across. And I've come across a lot trying to get 100% for this game. These enemies you can jump on for the most part, which is nice. Uh, but you do want to go out your way a little bit, search for some of these uh, hidden diamonds here and hidden areas. Uh, the reason why I say that like, there might be a chance there could be something I miss is because some of the diamonds that they place are in some of the areas of the level. It's like, why in the hell would you ever think to look there? Or how would you be able to tell like you can access that area or something like that? So this game could be a little tricky when it comes to that. Uh, a little sneaky like that. I have to throw you off your game, but uh, for the most part, you should be able to collect a lot of the items, uh, a lot of everything, no problem. Other than just a completed castle, there's really no other extra rewards, so to speak, for 100%. So if you don't get 100% in the game or anything like that, you're not really missing out on the grand scheme of things. That's just more so for like achievements or anything like that. So if you're into achievement hunting like that mickey found himself back in the clearing and back to his original size if you complete that section you get a magical card uh one five that you can collect throughout the game it'll show you in a second castle uh, castle statue piece collected let's just collect the gems that we can uh there are 75 or uh, yeah 75 diamonds in each of them you want to take the top half if you go uh, through the bottom you just uh, you're just going backwards. You gotta take this top path here to complete the level. Uh, but there are 75 gems in total for each axe, minus the boss axe, uh, for a total of 800. Uh, well, that's including the ones that are in the overworld. Don't know exactly how many are in the overworld, but there's 75 times 15 stages. Or, no, no. 75 times 10, uh, because you can only collect them in the first two acts. So that's 750, meaning there are 50 in the overworld. Mickey had to move fast. See, I can pull that shit out faster than some of my, you know. Can't write a turn paper for shit, but damn. I'll plug some numbers for you. Getting chased by the apple, just like in the classic game as well. Go, Mickey! Oh, I missed it. Now, ah, well. One more. Beautiful. That was close. And with that, Act 1 has been cleared. You can see our health, time bonus, health bonus for a total score. Let's go on and continue. Mickey knew he was closer to Miserable now. The very air around him tingled with mischief and danger. The gimmick of this stage are these ghosts that you can bounce on. Red ones you cannot bounce on. You will go through them, so keep that in mind. I ran into those enemies like, why? I don't know why. There we go. Collect these gems in the back here. For an extra free guy here. Beautiful. Pretty sure there's something down there as well. Yep. See, with the red ones, you can't really do much about. Oh, let's go down here. Because I remember these being a secret one that I missed uh, when I try to go back and 100% everything. <laughs> Beautiful. And this should get us our castle piece, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, another castle. Uh, another cashew. Another castle statue piece. And I believe you get another magic card inside of here. Yeah, those red ones you really can't do nothing about. So collect those two up top. I'm probably I know I screwed that one up big time. Ah, whatever. You gotta use the bats in order to get that one single one up there. It's a pain in the butt. Beautiful. Let me check down here first, just to make sure. Get out of here. All right. Just making sure to collect everything first beforehand. Beautiful. All right. Let's go on. Bounce on the fat ghost from Casper. Yeah, see the red ones? Just You can't do anything about the red ones. They're the trickster ones. 
Blue and green are A-OK. -okay. Oop, grab that. There we go. If you press, yeah, if you hold down on the jump button when you hit uh, bounce on somebody, get a little bit extra height. Suddenly, Mickey found himself catapulted into the clouds. Now we got a diamond section here. If you search or if you look long enough or search uh, everywhere, you should be able to find a playing card in this one, if I'm not mistaken. Whoop, come down here because this was one I missed for the diamonds. There we go. Son of a bitch. Okay. After a short flight, Mickey was back in the haunted forest. No worse for wear. Luckily, though, it's not a one-time shot. You can go back up and retry as many times as you need to, which I plan. I want to get that fucking card. Like I said, I may not be able to get 100% my first go around, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't be able to give it a shot. There we go. Beautiful. Hmm. There it is. After a short flight, Mickey was probably uh, there's some uh, additional gems up there if you continue to uh, follow the path uh, prior to collecting that card. Um, but I already got the magic card. I'm good. We're good on that, so. Bounce on the biggies. Miserable taunted Mickey with her cruel laugh. But perhaps she was secretly worried about how close he was getting. Uh oh. Beautiful. And just grab those diamonds. Yeah, see? Some of those areas is like. It's weird. Like, how in the hell are you supposed to do it? And it's like, you can just barely be on the edge of that platform. You can just barely, uh, inch, you know, get in there and just take care of it, all of that shit. Hold on. Can I have this one? Okay, yeah, I gotta go this way, uh, and then so I can collect these two. Now, the good thing about going through stages a second time, uh, should there be, if the gems that you have already collected will be highlighted gold, or I'm, I, they're diamonds, but... Um, they will be a gold color uh, once you've already collected it, just so that you know the game. That's the game's way of telling you that it's like you already got this one, so you don't have to worry about looking for this one and go find the rest of them essentially. Ay, 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 these vines. These are fucking vines. Nope. Eh, whatever. Stage clear with a score of 14,908. Let's go ahead and give it one more shot. Going on to Act 3, which is the boss uh, boss fight. With the frights and sprites of the forest behind him, Mickey faced the next part of his quest with renewed courage. Ah, the grumpy old oak tree. Like all of Miserable's illusions, he was no friend to Mickey. <laughs> The grumpy oak tree. When he hits himself back on his own tree like that, acorns will fall. That's your chance to attack. He'll have a few different attack patterns as you get as you hit him more and more times. Other than that, should not be too difficult. Besides from that. Now for this fifth and final one, you want to duck. Or you can jump over it if you want. The 
red rainbow gem was finally his. Now it was time for our hero to move on. Exploring the castle halls, Mickey now had one of the rainbow gems that would help him save Minnie. But he knew there were more to find, and the Masters of Illusion would not give them up without a fight. And we're going to go more on that adventure in the next one. So until then, do like to thank you guys for watching. Hope you have yourselves a fantabulous day. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Good night.